Welcome back to Leo Builds It. In tonight's video, I am adding more to the Shed to Workshop video series. I created a miter station over here and it's functional. The depth of cut that I can make is about 40 inches, which is okay for like uh, what I normally do which is um, make tables and I cut the legs out at 40 inches high for, for the tallest uh, table tops for the bar tops um, but I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube and I, I do consume as well as create videos for YouTube or from YouTube and I've seen some videos of guys wiring up their sheds so I figured I'd just bite the bullet and start for wiring up for electric service in on this wall. Uh, eventually, and I'm not worried about uh, adding sheathing to this side just yet. Uh, the work table that, or work station I'll be making tonight uh, will be from the far corner behind the camera to the corner over here, which is 11 foot. I have a I want to say it's just shot six and a half foot uh, length of MDF that's left over from when I made the work table on this side. So my idea is create the shelving for here, uh, set it up so that from the crisp of the blade at the miter saw, I'll have basically about six and a half feet to the curve uh, so that I can just put on a, a two by four make my cuts on this side I'm gonna have an outlet on the opposite side of the window for the AC unit that will eventually go there um, so I just made the holes in the studs I put the uh, gang boxes where I want them to go I lined up a, a board across uh, that was relatively straight, make sure it was level, put the gang boxes on about a four foot height. The worktop will be about 36 inches from the floor to the top. I'm 6'5", so I'm thinking even if I go an inch or two more than that and double up on the MDF uh, top, I'm looking at maybe a 37, maybe even a 38 inch high works work top so it's kind of annoying that's what it is so for tonight I'm gonna to start with the first of uh, three frames no, I have enough to do four so I have uh, the first I said 42 inches cover um, I made plans I went to a woodworking website. I wanted to use uh, plywood. But at thirty-four dollars a sheet of plywood versus using some two by four, some MDF at the top, some scrap boards I have laying around for shelving. I can get away with what I want to do. The first twenty-four inch it will be an open cavity to house my dust collection system that I have right now that I my that I'm making if you will. I'm gonna have a shelf higher up to put my shop back. I wanna have my dust collection at the bottom. And I wanna have so I've gone ahead and um, made the first twenty four inch frame for the dust collection. The first sixteen and a half inch frame for my handy dandy excuse me. Um, tabletop planer. Uh, the next piece is another 16 and a half inch piece for the uh, draw press for it to go and have a home. Um, after that I'm making a another 15 inch wide frame for a uh, drawers and cabinets. Uh, drawers, no, drawer, not drawers and, but drawers for drawers. And then after that, I'll have the miter saw station. So what I'll do now in the interim 
I think I have enough 2 by 4 to get as far as 6 feet on the station. And then what I'll do is I'll take the existing minor saw stations over here behind me, the one I made last time, or a few, month, a few months ago now. Uh, take this minor saw station, flip it 180, or just, yeah, flip it 180, uh, 180 the saw and stick it in this corner here for right now. Um, and then shimmy it over because it's not going to go all the way to the wall at all. It's, it's not deep enough for that. So this is about four feet long. But I gave about a foot gap between the end of the workstation I'm making now and um, where the new mire, the, oh, the new miter slug is. That's what it is right now. It's a new one we'll be at. So hopefully the night I can get this done before it gets too late. I can start cleaning up outside, bring in my, my tools. So I don't want it to be rained on. Bring in my mother-in-law's table that I made. Uh, set it up for sanding tomorrow. Um, start working on removing all this stuff from this wall here. Uh, sorting it out. Moving my paint shelf to that wall if it's wide enough. Actually, let me check right now if it is wide enough. Hopefully, let's find out. So the shelf I made, I think, is what. 25 and a half inches wide and the wall is 26 so it'll slide in right in there nicely so that will go there uh, in the room and I'll put all my paints back the way they are in it now and sort it and go through the stuff that I'm not using <coughs> and then make uh, get some of my two by uh, yeah some two by twos and what I'll do is I have these plastic totes that are about I don't know a foot wide yeah I'll use those and use the totes as drawers uh, in the interim until I make myself the, the cabinets that I want to make so or I might just keep that there do that for drawers yeah I'll do that for drawers for, for ever and ever and ever until I get tired of them and get something else so the next uh, segment will be the wrap up thanks for watching this is the three quarter inch MDF top that I'm going to be using I have 60 inches of space available. I'm going to start screwing the sucker into the frame that's available right now. Uh, I'm going to finish tomorrow the rest of the frame. I guess I'm putting the stuff in here because it's just allegedly rain tomorrow morning and I don't want my stuff to get wet. So uh, that's what I'm doing tonight. I uh, was hoping to get a lot more of this. Uh, stuff done before I started uh, putting crap back on it but uh, time constraints uh, and uh, the fact that now I have to go inside so uh, yeah so the next step is to after I get this side of the, the shed completed I am going to start and the barracks about the deck so let me get me this quick well, thank you guys for watching Leo Builds It. I hope you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, subscriber update. I'm up to 30 right now. Please share the video. I appreciate any shares you guys have. I share on uh, social media, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, uh, Google Plus, if that's still around. So hopefully everything is hunky-dory for you guys. Have a great weekend, and uh, thank you for watching.